Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word, day number two. I pray that you had a blessed New Year's Day yesterday, and also that if this was your first time or you just got re-engaged into gripping the Word, I pray that the Lord met you in maybe a most personal way that you've not felt in quite some time or even maybe ever. So today we're going to be in chapter two of Proverbs. I'm going to read the chapter and then see what verse or verses rise up. So for me, it's just one verse. It's verse 6. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and share my grip with you now. Here's my G in verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Pretty simple. Here's my reveal. There'll be times as we get a grip on God's word that a verse will jump out as it did today for me. Okay, it states that the Lord gives wisdom. Well, just yesterday... I was praying for wisdom, and he also adds knowledge and understanding from his mouth, which I also desperately need. Herein lies the secret. The Bible, God's word, is God breathed. God himself breathed in and through the authors. It is the inspired word of God. That, my friends, is why we strive to get a daily grip on God's word. My I, my implementation is, I must declare, I must commit to my daily tea time with Jesus. It is mission critical for me to arise at that 5 a.m. and look expectantly of what the Lord has for me as we spend this time together. Being honest with a man in the mirror, I desperately need God's wisdom, his discernment, and his understanding. So my title is the three key blessings from God are those right there. God's wisdom, his discernment, and his understanding. So my prayer back to him after gripping the word, Lord, thank you for penning the ultimate best-selling book in history, the Bible. Give me the morning hunger for your daily bread found in the living word. Jesus, etch your words onto the tablet of my heart which I know will help me walk out the hopes and plans you have for me. It's in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Day number two, guys, getting that daily grip on the word. I, I know without a shadow of a doubt, a 100% guarantee, if we are consistent in spending time with God, reading his word, praying back, and forth with him because praying is also listening as much as talking. I have a major opportunity with that. And guys, to do this in a community of other guys doing life, I just can't imagine anything better uh, while we're here on earth. So let me go ahead and pray this out collectively. Uh, any other questions or input, uh, please just fire an email back or send a message. And we'll be sure to check back with you. If we did this for one guy, if we did this for Steve, who started the Daily Grip with us, had not opened a Bible in over 30 years, and felt like God has brought this opportunity for him, the simplicity of just getting a grip. Steve, we did this for one man, and it was you. It'd be oh so worth it. Keep the faith, be encouraged, and let me close this out collectively. Heavenly Father, thank you again for this opportunity to come together for at least these 31 days, if not more, to seek after you, to do this with other guys, to get a grip on your word. Lord, I just love how you raise up a verse that I've read over the years, and man, it just spoke volumes at this time. So Lord, open our ears to hear from you, and also Lord... Um, guide each in each and every one of our steps. We love you, Jesus. It's in your powerful name we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, have another blessed day. I'll see you bright and early in the morning.